listening to Higher Self Wellness with Alec Hurley. Welcome to the show today. And if you are new, then thanks for tuning in. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. I hope you're doing well, and I hope you're enjoying this shift of the seasons. So, I just want to send a big thank you and send some gratitude to those who have left reviews on iTunes. I really appreciate that. I appreciate you taking the time to drop a line over there and to show some gratitude and support. If you haven't yet, I invite you to do so. And even if you're so drawn to, you can share this with a friend. It's kind of cool to see this podcast growing organically now to like 21 different countries around the globe. And um, it's just all happening because of you and because of you sharing it with friends and family and someone who may find it inspiring. So much gratitude to that. I want to take a short time today just to talk about the fall and kind of what I've been doing around, uh, well, just recently since the change of the season. So I've really been exploring the past few days with cleaning my space and been doing this inside as well as outside. So inside, I mean like with my body and with my mind, uh, with eating less, with taking time with less stimulation, less ingesting of information, and just more downtime. And outside, I've been doing that with like cleaning my physical space. So cleaning my space inside, my physiology and my mind, and then also my living space of like really getting in the corners and doing some deep cleaning. So I want to talk about inside and outside kind of cleansing, inside the body and outside the body. And I'm going to start with first of inside the body and how I want to invite in this mindset and seasonal perspective shift. And this is a really good time to do so because we're in a time of transition. Things are going to be a little bit irregular as far as weather. And the circadian rhythms are changing as well with the days becoming shorter and the night becoming longer. And so this is a really good time just to like jump into the mindset and enter in the shift of perspective and acknowledge that like life is always changing. It's always changing. Everything is constantly in this change. And it's how we respond to this change that really shapes our experience. And so it's easy to become stuck in these ways of looking at something the same and to be stuck in these tendencies and patterns of the mind and with our behaviors. But when we challenge that and we invite in this like this different perspective, if we put ourselves in another position, maybe in someone else's shoes, and we choose to look at something from their perspective, we see things a little bit different. And so it's how we respond to this change that shapes our experience. So like how open, how flexible are we with seeing things differently? So challenging the mind. So inviting in this mindset and seasonal perspective shift. This challenges us to be just a little bit more flexible, to see things from a new perspective, And so I want to invite in a question, and I invite you to ask this question yourself. What do you love about someone or something? And you may have a lot of things come to your mind, so I invite you just to choose one. Just the first thing that comes to your mind, or whatever it is that you're being drawn to, to kind of focus on here. So either someone or something, and just one person or just one thing. What do you love about that? And I ask you to write it down. And I also invite you to meditate on it and explore how does it make you feel over the next few days of like what it is that you love about this one person or this one thing. Because a lot of times we can be stuck in this perspective of seeing 
the difficulties, seeing the challenges, seeing what's hard, seeing what's not working, rather than coming back into the viewpoint of seeing like, what do we actually love about this person? What do we love about this one thing? Like what keeps us coming back? What do we value in this thing or in this person? What do we appreciate about this thing or about this person? How do they feed us? How do they make us feel? So what do you love about this one person or about this one thing? And so through your meditation practice over the next few days or week, I invite you to come back to this this idea of like, what do you love about them? What do you love about this thing? And again, this is just shifting from like the what's wrong from the what's difficult, what's challenging, to like, what do you appreciate? What do you value in this thing? What do you value in this person? How do they make you feel? And when we invite in these practices, especially throughout these times of transition, like the seasonal change, like it gives us an opportunity to rework and see what we can let go of, see if we've been stagnant or if our mind has been accumulating in a specific perspective or hanging on to something that's not really in alignment with the type of life that we want to be living. And so simple practices like this of just like challenging the mind and like, okay, what have I been focusing on recently? Have I been focusing on like how this one thing really annoys me every single day that I see it? Or have I been focusing on how much that one thing has brought me joy or has helped me through different parts of my life over the past couple of years? And the same thing for a person. Like, what do I really love about this person who's in my life? What do they offer me? How do they uplift me? How do they support me? Rather than maybe a habit that they have or something that they do or something they do that triggers an emotional response in yourself. When we invite in these questions, we can really shift like, okay, what's going on here? Where am I anchoring in my perspective? And how can I shift that to be more harmonious with the type of life that I want to live? The type of things that I want to experience? And also, what kind of relationships do I want to have either with this person or with this thing that I have in my life? So that's just the beauty of this time of year, inviting in practices and questions like this just to really just get a sense and a feel of like, okay, what am I doing? How am I relating? How am I viewing things? How do I see things? How do I take things in? And also, how am I habitually thinking about and observing everything going on around me? So that's for cleaning the space within, within the mind and like just doing a little house cleaning inside there and a little bit of dusting and reorganizing of like, oh yeah, dang, my mind has been like all over the place and really anchoring in on like how much this one thing annoys me rather than how much it has helped me through my past. And so cleaning our mental space is just a really good practice to come into regularly. Schedule it in in your calendar, like every four months, quarterly, just invite in a 20 minute practice every four months to just to re ask these questions of like, okay, well, what do I love about my car? Or what do I love about my living situation? Or about my best friend? Or whatever it is, just to invite in new perspective. So moving outside the body, outside the mind, into our physical space, the same thing. What do you love about the space that you live in? And also, how can you design your space to support the type of life that you really want to live? And this is kind of influenced from a recent book, uh, Willpower Doesn't Work by Benjamin Hardy. And he suggests that we are a product of our environment. And so essentially, our environment shapes our behaviors, and our behaviors shape our experience. 
and our experience, well, that shapes either how in balance we are, out of balance we are, in alignment we are. And so if we really want to begin changing our experience, we need to understand our relationship to our environment. Because it's not good enough, or I don't want to say it's not good enough, but it may not work well enough just to want to get into better shape or to want to change our diet or our lifestyle. We really need to begin to look at our environment and how that is either supporting us in these shifts or not supporting us in these shifts. So understanding how is your living situation designed? Is it designed to support wellness and vitality and energy and connection to yourself? Or is it designed to support, well, stagnation and a lot of like laying around and a lot of doing nothing? Like just become familiar with, okay, what do I really want? And how can I design my space to support that? So cleaning our space, opening up some time to like really get in there in the corners and clean out the physical space, do some dusting, clean under the rugs, like just moving stuff around just really helps open up the flow of energy and to create movement, movement for not only your body, but also space and movement for your mind to invite in these new shifts and perspectives of like, okay, where have I been stuck in viewing something or perceiving something? And how can I just take a step back and come back into alignment with what it is that I really want to experience? So the fall, cleaning our space inside and out, inviting in this seasonal perspective shift, the seasonal change of mindset, or at least a seasonal evaluation to understand that if your mindset is actually in alignment with that type of life that you want to be living. And just again, like this helps us become more flexible. It helps us become more adaptable. And it just helps us come back into alignment with like, okay, who am I? What do I want to do? And how can I support myself along doing this? And just know that it takes taking the time out, taking a step back, reevaluating how we're doing things. How are we moving through life? How are we perceiving life? And how can we do so just a little bit more harmoniously and in a way that supports our own well-being, the well-being of our relationships, the well-being of others in our lives, and ultimately the well-being of the planet that we live on. So what do you love about someone or something and again, just write it down. Invite it into your meditation practices over the next week or so. And just notice if you've been like just resting in and orienting, orienting yourself from like what's wrong and what's challenging. And see if you can just take a shift even for a couple of days of like, okay, what's working? What is like really in alignment? What is really helping me? What do I love about this one thing in my life? What do I love about this one person in my life? And how can I focus in on this just over the next few days? And then just notice how you feel. So that is my idea on the change of season, cleaning your space inside and out. Again, just shifting and reorganizing your physical space, shifting and reorganizing your mental space. And I invite you to do so if you're so drawn to then let me know how it goes. You can reach out to me. I'd love to hear from you, like if this resonated with you and if you're like, oh man, like totally, I totally get, I've been focusing on like what's been wrong and what's been going wrong and I'd love to hear about it. So reach out to me through social media. You can connect with me on Facebook, on Instagram, that is both at Higher Self Wellness. You can connect with me through my website, www.higherself.yoga. And I look forward to just hearing about how this maybe has inspired you to take action, to explore a new perspective, or to shift things around in your physical space, moving the couch, the bed, anything, whatever it takes, just to open up some space, create some movement. 
So if you found this valuable, just know that you can go into iTunes or wherever you're listening to this and rate, review this podcast. You can share it with a friend. I'd really appreciate that. Again, that's just how these things grow. And that is my goal is to help people, inspire people to take action, to better their lives, and to hopefully feel inspired to just do the things that make us feel better. Like That's pretty much it. So thanks for taking the time to tune in. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, wherever you are. Thanks for listening. Much love to you.